I want to ask you about uh, Syria. I know you watched the region and you had criticized the president's decision to pull out. Uh, the National Security Advisor, John Bolton, is in the region right now and is saying now there's no timeline for a U.S. drawdown and it'll be dependent on Turkey agreeing not to slaughter our Kurdish allies. It sounds like he's describing right. an indefinite timeline of U.S. troops staying in Syria. Well, I had lunch with the president last week and I came away a bit encouraged. There are three things that we want to accomplish as part of a withdrawal. We want to make sure that when we leave, the Kurds do not get slaughtered. And I don't trust Turkey to take care of the Kurds. It'd be like Putin trying to police Assad. That didn't work well. We need a plan to protect uh, the Kurds from Turkey and others. We need to make sure ISIS doesn't come back once they're defeated and Iran's not the biggest winner. If you can accomplish those three objectives by reducing our forces, which I think we can, then count me in. But those three things have to right. be uh, accomplished for us to successfully leave Syria. And the president's slowing down and he's reevaluating his policies in light of those three objectives. Don't let Iran get the oil fields. Don't let the Tur Turks slaughter the Kurds. And don't let ISIS come back. I think I share the goal of the president to withdraw our forces. Let's just do it smartly. Is this an admission that the president made a mistake? I think this is uh, the uh, reality setting in that you got to plan this out. President Obama ended the operations in Iraq against sound military advice. The president's getting sound military advice about the status of the Kurds, uh, what will happen in, with Iran if we leave too soon. And uh, you know, the bottom line here is we want to make sure we get this right, that ISIS doesn't come back. And I applaud the president for reevaluating what he's doing. He hasn't changed his mind, but he's listening to a lot of good advice. And President Obama never would do that. And you saw what happened when a president shuts people out. This president's not shutting people out. He has a goal in mind of reducing our presence. I share that goal. Let's just do it smartly. Senator Graham, thank you for joining us.